Hello and uh, welcome everyone to Tech Buddy. In this uh, video, we will learn the difference between uh, public and private group. So in my last video, I have shown you how to create a group site. So we will take that group site once again and then I will show you the basic difference between a public group and a private group. So let's navigate to the, to, to the SharePoint Admin Center and I hope everyone knows how to access the SharePoint Admin Center. Then uh, navigate to the active sites. You can see on the left hand side, we are into active sites. Okay, so I have searched for the name of the site which we created in the last session. So the last site which we created was test org and let's see this uh, this is a public or a private group right now so right now this is set to private okay so what happens in private so if you have set this group to private so what will happen is anyone who wants to join this group uh, or who wants to be a member of this group they need to raise a request only then they will be able to access to the group site okay they cannot join the group directly so let's see how this works so right now this is set to private and suppose I am a normal user but I am aware that there is one group created and the group name is test org I'm aware about the name I want to join this group so either I can directly connect with the owner of this group and uh, ask him to add me as a member of the group otherwise if i am aware of the name of the group i can directly go ahead and join the i, I can uh, raise a request to join the group so let's see how it happens so let's open the test user okay i have one user opened up already so this is my test user you can see on the top it says rahul test 15062.microsoft.com okay I'm, I'm a new user here and and also you can see that i am not added as a member of the group okay and also you can verify it from my admin account i'll go to this membership group you can see that I am the sole owner of this group and in members no one is added there apart from apart from my domain account okay so no one is there anywhere all right so I'll cancel I'll, I'll just go back to the setting once again okay this is a private group let's navigate to the test user this is the test user and I want to join that group. I want to raise a request. So now there are two ways I can raise a request. Either from this MS Teams, I'll come up here, join or create a team. Okay. And uh, since I'm not aware about the code of the team, so I cannot uh, join through code. However, I am aware about the name of the team. So what I can do is I can search the name here. Test org. I'll put in the name. I'll hit enter okay so it seems that it did not find anything maybe uh, it's taking time uh, to find that uh, group or, or or maybe it's not uh, published yet into ms team so that is why it is not showing up here however let's do one more thing let's join the group from here so we can also join or search for the group through outlook as well so we'll go to outlook we'll go to discover group okay let's come up here let's search for test org i will hit enter okay now bro you can see that test org is showing up there and i am getting the option to uh, raise a request to join in so once i click on this raise a request the request will come up to my main admin account okay in this area i open this outlook okay in the in the outlook i will get an email uh, whether i want uh, that member to be a part of this uh, group or not okay and uh, i can approve or reject on the basis of my own choice i will uh, i will get an email in uh, my inbox that this user has requested to join the group so i will show you uh, in the next video what happens when someone clicks on request to join okay how do you approve or reject a request for uh, a person to join the group all right so 
now let's go back to the topic once again so since i was getting this option to request to join all right this is what happens when the group is set to private now let's switch that group i'll go back to my admin center right now this is on set to private and i am setting this to public right now i have clicked on save the setting has been saved successfully now in order to figure out what is the difference let's go back to the user account once again let's open the outlook so outlook is already open okay the test org is already been searched i'm getting this option to request to join okay i'll cancel this i'll refresh one more time so that the changes which i have done can get propagated uh, all over the uh, all over the uh, places in the tenant all right i'll come up this group section here i will click on discover group and i am aware about the name so what i'll do is i'll search by the name i'll test put in test org i'll hit enter okay now now do you see the difference previously i was getting the option of raising a request to join the group now i am able to join the group i'll just need to click on join this group and i will be able to access to the group i will become the i will become the member of this particular group okay so you can see the group uh, the request has been changed previously it was showing join now i'm getting this as joined and if, I, if you hover over this you get see that there are two members added okay and also in the i have received an email and i have joined this group i will test one this is my account okay you have this you have joined this test org group okay i hope uh, you found this useful okay so in the next video we will show you uh, what happens when you know uh, when you created a public group but you do not want that uh, user should be able to access it or would be able to see it without your permission so there is one setting which we can do right and in the next video i will show you that setting how you can hide the public group from other users so that they won't be able to search it in the outlook or anywhere in the teams okay so till then keep learning and uh, Bye everyone. Bye-bye.